what is up guys welcome to another episode of walking this place on these um wow today was a very very good episode so far the best um most intense episode i've ever seen but basically in the beginning what happens is um the governor kidnaps michonne and herschel and um he then plans on attacking the prison and he kind of stretches the truth by saying that they burned down woodbury and that they killed a lot of people from woodbury but um as you really know the governor was the one that did all of that. But yeah, they, they all agreed to attack the prison. And as they kidnapped Herschel and Michonne, uh, as you guys know, Michonne did end up killing the governor's daughter as a zombie. Not not as a human being, but as a zombie. So therefore, it was humane. Um, it was kind of fucked up, but it was going to happen eventually. But um, yeah, uh, what Herschel does bring up is like, um, if she did kill your daughter, why would you attempt to kill mine since mine are part of the prison? And he answers by saying, because they're not mine. So that just shows, that just goes to show how selfish the governor is. And, yeah, um, so the cut to a scene in the prison where Rick is talking to Daryl. And he tells him why he sent Carol away. And Daryl gets like super mad. He looks pretty heated up, but he does not really think of playing Rick. But um, as you can see, Daryl doesn't know that Carol did it for the group, which I think was totally fine. But he says that's something that she wouldn't do. So it just goes to show how much Daryl doesn't really know Carol. Or how much Carol have changed because I mean she did change quite a bit. But um as soon as they go to Tyree to tell him that Carol was the one that killed Karen, um the governor comes and kills oh excuse me, uh shoots a tank round into the tower just to scare them off, maybe just to drop them out and um he tells Rick to come talk. So before they start talking, they cut to um, the commercials, and when they come back, they give you a scene where the little girl is playing in the mud, and she finds a sign, and the sign says, Flash Flood, Flash flood Warning. And that basically means that where they are, it's not very safe, so keep in mind the mother is on top of a RV, just watching over the lake. She was just trying to see if the zombie was going to come over, so she drew her gun, and... And the little girl had no idea and the zombie just fell and got carried away by the current so while she was distracted oh excuse me that was my iPhone that's all uh, <laughs> uh, while she was distracted um, the there was a zombie in the mud which ended up biting the little girl in the shoulder neck area and unfortunately that was the end for her so as soon as that happens um, Rick tries to negotiate with the governor and everything seems well the governor is um He's taking, he's like moving his the sword back, and you would think he's trying to retrieve the sword. But actually, when he finished his statement, uh, the governor just said one word, and it was liar, as he swung the katana, which is the correct term of her machete thing, whatever you guys think it is, it's actually a katana. Um, she swung it, and he got Herschel like halfway through the neck, so his head didn't come off so it was like basically just hanging by a little thread and he was trying to just crawl away and Michonne sees that so she tries to cut the rope from her hands and she does end up getting free that's when she stopped the governor by the way but I'm just uh, going back and um, yeah and he cannot she cannot help Herschel because she had to go run because the governor was coming so the governor just ended up uh, basically just beheading Herschel and you saw no emotions in his face, and as soon as he was done beheading her, so, um, came his lover, I don't really know her name, but she was carrying his, um, basically his stepdaughter, and she was dead, and knowing how much he loved her, he really just had no emotions, carried her, like, maybe took like five steps, took out his gun and just shot her in the face. And that just goes to show how much he's changed, like, he really doesn't care about anyone now, he has no one, but, um, after that, uh, they go in to fight, and uh, the tank takes down the fences, and Rick gets shot in the leg, and uh, I forgot to tell you guys, but Rick does end up shooting the governor in the shoulder, um, but Rick and the governor uh, start fighting, fist fighting, and Rick is winning the first round, I guess, and then out of nowhere, the governor takes control, and he dominates Rick. Rick is like, bludgeoned, almost. He, um... The only thing that stopped is Michonne that comes from behind, and he, she, excuse me, 
stops Governor in the heart, and he's still alive a little bit. He wasn't killed on impact, and as he was laying on the ground, um, they cut to another scene where uh, the little kids they wanted to help, uh, so they just got guns and they said they were gonna help out, and um, they also cut again right there, and you see Tyrese getting shot at, and I don't know where the little kids come. And basically just guilt trip this girl by just giving them the puppy eyes and just shoot them in the face. And <laughs> that was very, very cool. I was really, really excited right there because I was like, yo, these kids are like cold-hearted killers right now. But, um, yeah, after that, they save Tyree's life. And then Daryl goes on a mayhem and, like, destroys the tank by putting a grenade in the barrel, which was actually pretty smart because knowing the... The, uh, the grenade would just roll down where uh, all the other rounds would were and that would cause an even bigger explosion so the tank would have been destroyed on impact and but unfortunately the guy did get away from um, the, the tank he escaped the tank but Daryl was right there and he just shot him with his arrow like always like he always does but um now towards the end Rick gets up bleeding and finds Carl and they start to search for Judith only to find a bloody baby carriage. Now there's a lot of people debating right now. A lot of people think that she was not killed, that some guy actually came, saved Judith and shot a zombie where that zombie wasn't killed properly so it kind of just like landed on the baby carriage and just crawled away. Um, that was one of the theories. Uh, I actually came up with that. So, <laughs> um, and the other theory is that she died. So, um, I personally believe that someone rescued her just because. Why would you kill off a baby in a series? Like, why? There's a lot of kids dying like nowadays. And why would you put that? But anyways, guys. Um, towards the end, they cut to a scene where the governor's on the ground, half dead, and his lover comes back and just shoots him in the face. So I think he deserved that. I actually was starting to like him, but this episode kind of just turned bad. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This has been the um, the Walking Dead Spoiler Sunday uh, for today and maybe until February because uh, they did say that this is the the mid-season finale. So. Uh, anyways guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like, sub, comment, whatever you want to do, dislike, I don't care. Just show support and uh, see you guys later.